All right, we're back with uh, all format challenge. V vs. Dave again. Uh, for those who's joining us, I am up 2-0. I beat him in a plant mirror in September 11, and a and a, my samurai versus his plants in March 2011. So now this is September 2010, a uh, post Star Strike blast, but pre samurai because we don't really want to play a bunch of times three gateway mirrors. I'm playing Gravekeepers, because I think they're pretty much far and away the best deck, most well-rounded matchups. There's nothing I'm really too scared to play against. I don't know if he's... Pl oh, I guess he's playing Plants. So, I mean, it is kind of sketchy. It opened up with both Steels. Forge for Treeborn. I don't know what that means. But I'm trying to think is heavy in this format? I don't think it is. Yeah, this is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, we have Cold Wave and True Nade, I think, but no heavy. Yeah, Cold Wave and True Nade. Sure, we'll go with that. No heavy. Uh I'm just gonna, gonna do the usual here. Wiggles is watching. He's kind of a Gravekeeper master. Hopefully he doesn't uh, think too badly of me. I'm trying to think if Frog Monarchs are playable in this format or not. Did they like do some? I don't know. Yeah, Frog Monarchs were playable in this format. Oh yeah, because you had Formula Monarchs. That's right. Uh, so yeah, that's that's probably what he's playing. He's it like although he still could be playing plants. Like that's what I played in a that's what I played at Atlanta. I played plants with one treeborn frog and and uh three Caius. And here I can flip spy or I can uh duality. Ah, sucks because I feel like I almost have to duality and hope to hit like the royal tribute or something like that. I actually should have decided Master Restrict. That's actually what I forgot to put in my side deck. I completely forgot about this deck. Yeah, I'm just going to Duality. I feel like I don't really have much choice. Yeah, none of those are really the cards I want. Tell you, it's gonna suck if he has another monarch. I'll just bluff one of these because I'm definitely not gonna need both. the guys who won the jump. I'm playing 3 Necker Valley, not 2. That actually wasn't that bad. I just didn't want him to like uh, Caius or Rise of Me. The Stalos isn't the end of the world. One time, can I get a real tribute? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there's two, as a matter of fact. And all of a sudden, this matchup is looking a lot more favorable. Okay, this real tribute to just discard your opponent's entire hand. 
not really the most uh, fair card, but hey, that's kind of why I played Gravekeepers, because you get a lot of auto wins. I mean, I don't know what his face down is, but I don't see a reason not to attack it. Okay, it's that guy. And of course, only one steel target, but there's a lot of things I can draw. I certainly like my position here. Oh, like that. That's a lovely card. Swap Frog. Uh, I'm gonna get a Salient. Start trying to push through for damage. No need to search another career, because if I need it, I can just steal it back anyway with either one. Assailant's actually one of the most important cards in this matchup because they try to wall on things like uh, Dupe Frog and run into it and Treeborn. Because I actually remember now, I was, I was back in back when I actually played this format in real life, I didn't have dualities so I couldn't play Gravekeepers. But I did play a lot of Formula Monarch so I was usually on the other side of this matchup and the Assailant's were always very annoying for me. It's a pretty it's a pretty tough matchup when you're the frog monarch player. With Gravekeeper, you know, if you draw the right combination of cards, you don't really have to think a whole lot. But I can certainly say from his side of the table, he probably has to think quite a bit about most of his moves. Especially knowing at some point I'm gonna draw into one of my other two Royal Tributes. I think they're actually arguing about the matchup. Uh, yeah, I disagree with Alistair. He thinks it's a good matchup for frogs. I think it's definitely in Gravekeeper's favor. They just have so many tools. Frog Monarch, you kind of have to grind it out and, you know, sort of hope that Gravekeepers don't draw into their good cards. And I'd say Gravekeeper's a little more consistent, too. Because it is possible with the frog deck that you just you know, just don't get the cards needed. You don't get the frogs, you don't get the tributes, you don't get the hand traps, whatever. I'm just going to try to push through damage. If he gorges me, it would kind of be a setback, but it's not like I would get completely screwed by it. Fader, okay. Perhaps he will attribute for Light and Darkness. I would actually be quite fine with that too. Like here, I could just uh, tribute my assailant to blow up his fader. But if he plays Light and Darkness, I can just solemn it. And then he can't even get back a monster because of, um, because of Necker Valley. Oh, 
Just hit one of my steals. As long as it's not a solemn judgment, I'm happy. I'm not really sure what his plan is. Oh, he might kind of forgot. There's always enemy controller. Take one of my guys and crash it into the other. That'd be kind of annoying. I'm not sure if I would solve judgment that or not. He just left his uh, swap frog on the field. Let's see, 2k, 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 and 7, yeah. I'm just gonna solemn judgment of that and probably win the game. Yeah. Alright, game two.